Over 500,000 candidates are writing this year 2022's BEC. In the Ashamai municipality alone, over 3,373 candidates are sitting for the examination to book a spot in the various SHs. Join me whilst Ghana District TV tours to this centre. I'm Mifia Ochi. We're writing social studies and ICT, but we are starting with social studies. Okay, so today, how prepared are you for the examination? Oh, I'm confident that I'm well prepared. Really? Yes, please. Meaning you are not scared? Yes, please. I feel like I've learned like, a lot of things and like I believe I'll pass. Mm. From the way you are speaking, it seems you are scared. I... A little, but I still believe in God I'll pass. This year's examination is what I believe the whole nation will be looking out for. After nine years of basic education, this is the first point of call for our children to test all that they have learned over the years. Um, it's virtually like uh, the close of one stage of their life and then the entrance into the next stage. And so the idea is that as a director, working together with my teachers, my staff in the schools, our duty is to prepare the children sufficiently for this day and then to ensure that they are, when they come in, they come with all the confidence that they are able to pass this stage of their life into the next. This year's BET examinations, looking particularly at Ashima, I will say that uh, from all indications, uh, one could tell that the children are really prepared, despite the fact that uh, the COVID was a challenge to them in some of the periods or the seasons of the year. Uh, they are really prepared. I think 2017, when I came, uh, we, did, we did so well. We were about second in Greater Accra, 15th in the whole country. Uh, 2018, uh, we were fourth in Accra and then 18th in the uh, whole nation. But 2019, 2020, 2021, there was a downtrend. And uh, we've taken cue of that one and analyzed the various situations. And I found out that one, apart from the COVID, uh, the teachers were not so much incentivized. And for that matter, uh, output was quite low and affected those three years. We have we have instituted the MCE's award and that one goes to the best female uh, student and then uh, the best male student. Of course, the highest one will go to the uh, best female student. We just want to do this to encourage the girl child education. My final word will go to those who are writing the exams, that they should keep their confidence high. And we are expecting a lot from them. Because we believe much has been given to them. So much is also required of 